Hey everybody, Matthew Doyle here for Autodesk Gameware. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Scaleform SDK in Unity to apply a render to texture which will allow you to display a Scaleform movie on any mesh inside of your game level, such as you see here on these computer screens. So obviously the first thing you're going to need is a flash movie that you want to display on a mesh in your game level. And here I have a little computer type screen that I created in flash. It's all vector shapes and some movie clips. And if I double click on one of these movie clips and go inside it, you can see it has some timeline animation to rotate it. Likewise on this movie clip here, it has a whole bunch of text that slowly scrolls and has a mask applied to it so you only see the little square. And uh, once I've created it, all I have to do is publish it using the Scaleform launcher. And so you can see it running here inside of the Scaleform player. Now inside of 3D Studio Max here, I've got my monitor screen that I've created. It's just a simple planar mesh and I've UV mapped it. So if we open the UV editor here we can see my UV mapping. Very simple, it's just a square. And of course once I'm finished with that I simply need to export it as an FBX file into my Unity Projects Meshes folder. Now jumping over to Unity, we can see here that I've already imported my FBX file into the level and it currently has a default diffuse material on it. So the first thing I need to do is apply the render to texture script that ships with the Scaleform SDK to this screen and we'll find that script inside of the scripts folder under Scaleform and here we go my RTT so I'm just gonna drag that onto the mesh okay and so now if we look over in the properties here we can see the script has been applied to the mesh the next thing I need to do is tell it which Scaleform movie we want it to play or which Swift file the flash file that we created must be saved inside of your streaming assets folder so we can see here at the bottom of streaming assets we have the flash file I created it's called warning so I'll just type that into the Swift name field warning.swift be sure to include the file extension here we have movie class name where we could actually enter a unique class that we want to control this movie in this case we don't need one clear color is used to specify what color you want to display in the transparent areas of the mesh if you don't want it to be transparent of course in this case we'll just leave it to black as for render texture width and height we'll need to specify a dimension for our render to texture I'm gonna go ahead and use 1024 by 1024 and uh, you'll need to make sure that whatever you use is a square not rectangular this is a unity limitation and this should be all we need to go ahead and get this working however we do need to apply a different material but before we apply that material I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like without applying a different material so we'll go ahead and launch the game okay so you can see here that our render to texture is working however because we have not applied a material uh, other than default diffuse we have no transparent areas and there is no glowy self illume to the texture unlike this other monitor screen over here so in order for us to get that working we'll just need to go ahead and apply a different material to that mesh all right, so back in our level here, we'll go ahead and select the mesh, and we're going to change the material type on this from default diffuse to something that has self-illumination as well as transparency. So you can see my material here is a mobile transparent vertex color material. That means that it uh, will be very bright, based on whatever color I specify and my main color is and my missive color is set to white so if I were to lower this color we'll see that uh, it's not quite so bright anymore but I'd like it to stay nice and bright and in this case it also has an alpha channel which is exactly the kind of material that we need alright so now that we have our material applied we can play the level again and as we can see our material now has an alpha channel as well as self illumination looks much better now let's say that I wanted to change something on this Swift maybe I want to make the text scroll there white instead of red this is how easy it is to make changes in scale form first of all we go back into our flash file and I'll just select this movie clip and on the properties I'm going to add a color effect and I'm going to make that color effect tint and I will just increase my value of tint here to 100% making this text field white alright so now I'm just gonna go ahead and publish again with the scale form launcher and we can see the text is of course white 
Now the great part is I can jump back into Unity and run my level. And thanks to that change, I didn't have to do anything in Unity. Simply publishing the new Flash file and we can see that we have white text on the screen now instead of red text. It's that easy to integrate changes into your Swift files in Unity. All right, so that covers it for this tutorial. It was a very short tutorial, but hopefully this tutorial has helped to highlight how easy it is to add or render to texture inside of Unity and display your scale form movies on top of any kind of mesh asset you would like. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.